trapper down here with another part of our 90 days of preparation to get ready for fur season for December 1st. A big part of what we're going to use in future episodes is lawn clippings. They're about collected over two weeks or so. In the inside, you'll still feel it's moist, and we'll use that to help odor our traps. You also see that we have some tree limbs that were cut about four weeks ago, mostly just sticks, but we're going to use that to help layer some things. Also, over here we have branches that still have leaves on them. Again, that comes into play. Just get ready for this. What you might do is if you don't have them in your yard, go ask your neighbors. It's free, right? $10 on the first episode to get our traps de-rusted. This is all nature's bounty and it's free. And we're going to use this to odor our traps. Side note here, we do keep a variety of barrels and cans of various sizes and buckets. And we use this for throughout the trapping season to make everything from oils to baits or anything else that may come up. We have it on hand ready to go. These red totes are the reason we're having to de-rust so many of the traps. That's another story. Those things suck. We have various other things. We'll use this bed frame as part of our trap preparation. It was free and recycled. It was just an old futon. Uh, we have various woods. But we also have a lot of logs because we're going to make some burnt log sets to help get some coyotes. You also see some extra sheet metal and Things like that that I'll reuse in my trash sets, uh, as trash sets are very effective where I'm at. Um, but that's just a regional thing. Again, this is all free. We've just slowly collected it, organized it, and we have it ready to use. And we'll cover that in future episodes. If you haven't done it already, you can collect these items just off your own yard. Ask a neighbor, trim their bushes if you don't have any. I'm sure they'll take the free help. Everything's dandy with Trapper Dan. We'll see you next episode.